10, Ten years, years ago, uh, they pardon. were unheard of, <laughs> but the use of them in the Midlands is growing and vaping shops are everywhere. However, there are growing safety concerns. E-cigarettes have been linked to a number of health scares recently, mainly in the United States. But health experts here say the industry is highly regulated. Our reporter Kevin Ashford has been looking at the issue. This shop in Nottingham is part of one of the most successful high street trends of the last decade, catering to customers who want to vape. E-cigarettes can be appealing to people due to the, uh, the lack of smell compared to cigarettes, also the, uh, uh, the lack of stained teeth that you can get from tobacco as well once it's burnt, um, and also the cheaper cost of it as well. Vaping really began taking off in the UK from 2007, following the ban on smoking in almost all enclosed public spaces, and the market has boomed in recent years. According to its trade body, the e-cigarette industry has seen a five-fold increase in less than a decade. And vaping is seen as a key factor in the decline in the number of cigarette smokers in the UK over the same period, as tobacco users have turned to e-cigarettes to give up their habit. There's plenty of scope for more growth too, with an estimated six out of ten people who still smoke in this country saying they want to quit, which means more potential vapors. Now, an estimated 3 million people in the UK use these e-cigarettes and it's an industry dominated by small independent businesses. Most high streets seem to have a vaping shop. But as the industry grows, the question is being asked, just how safe is vaping? Health officials in Oregon are now reporting the second US death believed to be linked to vaping. The United States has seen a number of deaths and cases of lung disease associated with vaping in recent months. Although the chemicals under suspicion of causing the outbreak are not allowed in e-cigarettes in this country. Here in the UK, Ewan Fisher from Nottingham ended up in intensive care in hospital following what's believed to have been an allergic reaction to e-cigarettes. However, this consultant in respiratory medicine at Nottingham City Hospital says that while vaping is not risk-free, the benefits of using e-cigarettes instead of smoking tobacco are huge. When you're a smoker, it's very hard to overestimate the harm that smoking does to you. But the, the bottom line is that for every four days that you smoke after about your mid-30s, you lose one day of life. It's inconceivable that electronic cigarettes will be that harmful. And it's also clear that almost any way of quitting smoking is worth it. The key thing is to quit then deal with how you've done it and whether there's a way of getting off nicotine altogether. And Public Health England says its advice on these cigarettes has not changed despite the recent headlines. And that is vaping is far less harmful than smoking, which leads to the deaths of scores of people on a daily basis. The long-term effects of vaping won't be known for decades, but the general consensus among experts, even those with reservations about e-cigarette use, is that compared to smoking tobacco, getting a nicotine hit electronically is far safer. Kevin Ashford, ITV News.